Hello, viewers. I know majority of you are finding difficulty in cracking the self-pip reading. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to easily crack the self-pip reading on the reading for correspondence and apply a diagram. You just have to look for keywords and it's as simple as that. My name is Sridhar Santanam and I'm the founder of Self-Pip Academy. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and smash the like button. Also comment below. This way I'll be able to come up with more such videos in the future for you. Let's get started. Let's see what do we have here. Reading correspondence. So you'll find 12 questions on the test day similar to that of the real tests. Read the following letter. Hello, Juan. How are you doing? All's well in St. John's. I have some exciting news to tell you. Do you remember that real estate opportunity I was telling you about in Costa Rica? Well, I have decided to take the plunge. May and I will be buying a house somewhere along the Pacific side, ocean side. Sounds great, right? On our last trip there, sometime in November, we found a realtor with the same first name as you, by the way, who had some excellent leads for us. Not only that, his English is much better than our Spanish. So that helped. We told him that we were looking for a smaller, cheaper bungalow, not too far from the beach, but also that it didn't necessarily need to be beachfront which would have driven the price right up. So he found a few listings that were within a few kilometers of the beach, but that were also within a very limited budget. We checked out three places on the first day. Unfortunately, the jet lag hit me hard after seeing the third place. So we decided to call it a day. By the way, none of the first three houses really caught our eye. The next day, we continued our search. Juan showed us another three houses. After considering all six, May and I decided to put in an offer for the fifth one that we had seen. The offer was not accepted, but the owner countered. And by the end of the day, we had a place to call our second home. It's a bigger and more expensive bungalow than what we had actually hoped for. It's just over 1,000 square feet. It has two bedrooms at the front of the house. Then at the back of the house, there's another small bedroom. Then at the back of the house, there's another small bedroom. The really nice thing about the property is that it's pretty big and there's actually a small guest house included with another two bedrooms. There are also two bedrooms in the main house and one in the guest house. And of course, there's a kitchen but none in the guest house so the guests would have to borrow the cooking facilities in the main house and each house has a living room let's get on with the question now oops we just have some more paragraphs to read the reason i keep mentioning the guest house is that may and i would love to see you and carla there how far is Costa Rica from Mexico anyway? Well, I will let you know when we are ready to move in, which should be soon. And then maybe we can plan for your visit. Take care, Juan, Stephen. Okay, let's get on with the question and answers. Answer the questions by choosing the best word or phrase to complete the sentence referring to the above letter. Stephen is writing this letter to A, his friend, B, his realtor, C, his wife, D, his real estate agency. Looks like they are friends. So Stephen is writing this letter to his friend. A is the ideal answer. Stephen lives in Costa Rica, in Mexico, in St. John's, D, along the Pacific Ocean. We know we read from the reading paragraph that Stephen lives in St. John's 
when he says all's well in St. John's. Stephen and May were hoping for A, a smaller beachfront bungalow, B, a smaller, cheaper bungalow, C, a pretty big property with a guest house, D, a main house with three bedrooms and two baths. We know from the paragraphs that Stephen and May were hoping for a smaller, cheaper bungalow. Question number four. The house that Stephen and May decided on was A, the second one they had seen, B, the third one they had seen, C, the fifth one they had seen, D, the sixth one they had seen. Of course, from the paragraph, we can deduce or we can infer that the fifth one they had seen. So C is the right answer. Fifth question, the property has two bedrooms, B, three bedrooms, C, four bedrooms, D, five bedrooms. The property, in fact, has five bedrooms. So D is the right answer. On the property, there is only one A, building, B, house, C, kitchen, D, living room. On the property, there is only one kitchen that we can infer from the paragraph. Question number seven. Stephen mentions the guest house multiple times because A, he has invited Juan to stay there. B, he loves to see Juan and Carla there. C, he needs to plan for Juan and Carla to visit there. D, he wants Juan and Carla to visit there. D is the right answer. In the paragraph, we saw that he wants Juan and Carla to visit there. Okay, now, Juan is writing to Stephen. All right, hi Stephen, thanks for the great news. I dash that you and May would finally buy. So I know, I knew, I heard, I wish. So which is the right answer, viewers? I knew. Your right is the correct answer. Brilliant. So thanks for the great news. I knew that you and me would finally buy a houses, big homes, something, small homes. So you are right. Something is the right answer. Buy something over there. When do you dash on moving in there? When do you plan? When do you think? When do you anticipate? When do you guys, so when do you plan on moving in there is the right answer. Plan is the right answer. Carla and I would love to see you and May there. Dash. You have settled in. Once, if, by the time, afterward. Carla and I would love to see you and May there once you have settled in. By the way, Mexico is not all that. Close to, close from, far as, far from Costa Rica. I think it's only an hour or so by plane. Mexico is not at all far from Costa Rica is the right answer. I think it's only an hour or so by plane. Talk to you again soon, Juan. Now we are done with the reading for correspondence. So here you should not falter and get low score because it's much easier. If you read and inculcate habits of reading from today onwards, believe me, reading for correspondence will become easier and you will not score less on the reading. Let's get on with reading for apply a diagram. A special birthday present. So still you will get 12 questions here. It'll be on the real-time self test conditions, part one. Now read the email about the diagram, answer the questions by choosing the best word or phrase to complete the sentence referring the diagram when necessary. So there is a cat, a bird and a rabbit. A cat is very in, interactive, fun to play with. A cat is very interactive, fun to play with. A bird is not very interactive. A rabbit is somewhat interactive, somewhat fun to play with. So. Cat is very interactive, fun to play with. A cat will walk freely around the house 
could make a mess. A bird is not very interactive. A bird will stay in the cage, will not mess up the house. A rabbit is somewhat interactive, somewhat fun to play with. A rabbit could stay in the cage. If so, will probably not mess up the house. So subject line is birthday present ideas for Jennifer. So who's writing? Samantha is writing to Marisa. So there is also an email ID for your reference in case if there's some question related to the email ID, then you would have to give that email ID, which is mpatrick at notmail.com. <laughs> Weird. Anyway, hi Marisa, thanks for offering to help pick out a pet for Jennifer's 10th birthday. Sometimes I think Anne, so there is a there is an article, so we have to be careful. And relative, and friend, and sister, and aunt. Aunt would be the ideal answer because it is a it is an article. An aunt is better at picking out a birthday present than a mother. So I have attached some ideas for us to think over. I have three ideas that I think I should be able to afford, care, get, adapt. So right answer would be afford. I just don't know which of the animal choice, three idea Jennifer would be happiest will though. So I just don't know which of the dash. Either it is choice or idea. It cannot be idea because choice is, or it can also be three. Which of the three? Because it is rabbit, it is bird and it is a cat. So three should be the right answer, I guess. So three, let's flag it up. Jennifer would be the happiest with though. So I think three is the right answer. If I get her a cat, because cat is on the second list. So cat, Jennifer might end up getting dash, excited, bored, used along, bored with it. If it just sits in the cage, so is it cat? Cat cannot sit in the cage. It should be bird. If I get her a bird, Jennifer might end up getting bored. So that is the right answer. If the if I get her a dash, pet, cat, bird and rabbit, bird would be the right answer. Jennifer might get up, uh, end up getting excited, bored, used along. So bored will be the right answer with it. If it sits, just sits in cage, staring at her, swinging back and forth and possibly chirping. A rabbit or a pet, cat, bird, dog's dash would be more playful and interactive for Jennifer. Don't you think? Especially a cat. So the right answer would be a rabbit or a cat because those are on the second and third list. So it would be more playful. So cat is the right answer. The thing I like about a bird though is that I don't have to worry about cleaning Disturbing, running, messing. About it, messing up the house. Because in the paragraph we read that if you put the bird inside the cage, they don't mess up the house while, while I am out. I guess I could also keep the rabbit in some sort, kinds, part, place, dash of cage. So some sort of cage is the right answer. I will phone you later. Tonight to talk more about this. Bye for now, Samantha. <clears throat> okay. In the part two, answer the questions by choosing the best word or phrase to complete the sentence, referring to the diagram and the email when necessary. Jennifer's birthday is A, going to be a pet, going to get a pet, C, coming up, D, going to be a surprise party. Jennifer's birthday is coming up is the right answer. Question number 10. Samantha feels that dash A, she may be best at selecting something. B, she wants to select something alone. C, a cat should be in a cage. D, her sister can help her with something. Samantha feels that her sister can help her with something should be the right answer. <clears throat> okay, so question number 11. Marisa and Samantha will dash A, choose
choose a rabbit. B. Discuss this topic further. C. Get a pet for Jennifer. D. Get a cage for the pet. Marisa and Samantha will discuss this topic further is what we inferred from the paragraph. So B is the right answer. Question number 12. Samantha provides a clear advantage and disadvantage of having dash. A. Many pets. B. A cat. C. A bird. D. A rabbit. Samantha provides a clear advantage and disadvantage of having many pets is the right answer. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed this video.